Have you ever? Then why are you mocking pajamas wearers? You should apologize to the honorable minister for national security for mocking his pajamas. This is a branded pajamas. Don't you feel ashamed? That, I mean, well, no, what do you mean now, Can What do you mean? You, you, you as you ask. Have you ever worn a pyjama before? No. So if you've not worn one before, this is the time you should learn the importance of pyjamas. This is a man with credibility. A man that tells you that he's sensible enough to know how to love. And he's sleeping with pyjamas. Then you are here talking about pyjamas. Do you know what is pyjamas? You. If not by this video, what will be that? Masa, you have to really apologize. If you have to I'm a Miss Bell. I'm a Ivo Nelson. I'm a A plus. I'm a Nabe Kebi. I said the same. Look. Mwa mwa inti impa ebo na ye bo ya asani ye wudafi wufro mu nu. Nyanku po ma kwa nchire. Ma yadi impa ebo jine mu. Naka mi nyanka mi ma. He. Flet. Mwa mbo impa ebo nu. Ye bo impa ebo sire nyanku po nse. Ombo side chick fo hun bain. No mwa 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 2020 mu. No mwa nji o ma yinu. O mwa nji o ma yinu. Wuda asu ya sanfo. Naka dey. Uye nyanku po. Thank you. We are praying to God. And he's a prayer answering God. As a simple question, are you still a man of God? You are, you are not serious to ask such a question. Are you still a church member? No. Are you still a church member? I am. You? Yes. You? Then why do you come from your level and quarrel level to ask a group like me? Am I still a man of God? What do you mean by that? Or you, oh, you think I'm coming either? I am not. Coming either. I'm not. I'm not. I'm an old reverend minister. What do you mean? I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not one of the boys that recently they have been made ministers and you think they are on their way going. Please, 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 please. You, don't ask me this question. Do you have a church? I have a church. You keep asking this question. I'm not for a bar, sorry. Not a bar, sorry. Me say, I'm not for a bar, sorry. 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 I'm not for a bar, Ah, how do you cry away? Mr. Khan, you're a bum on the power of Facebook. Kanza. Oh, oh dear, Chinkai. What's that? Oh, dear, Chinkai. Thank you. That is not my name. Uh, now, who did you say? At least you need to respect me. No, what is your name? I am Odi Ahinkai Kwame Yeboa. Hey, wait, do you find Odi Ahinkai? That is my name. So, mention your name again. My name is Odi Ahinkai Kwame Yeboa. Okay, Odi. I ain't kind Kwame Yabua. It's your name. Sure. Helena, happy, happy new year to you wherever you are. Thank you for managing this thing for this number of years. Ten May years God of bless you. Ten years, of course. That uh, you have managed this thing for 10 solid years. She has managed, and, um, she has managed what? And uh, you have not given up. She even those up. even those who come, they come and go, but you are still there. Those who come. Uh, yes, I mean, those who come. What's it? You have not given up. You have me fee uh Edmund Ameba. I do me a fee in tea. Edmund Ameba. Debut. Now, some of you watch it. I mean, I've not resigned. I'm still working there. Okay. So, I mean, I'm the last person to re respect you when you by mistake come to my place at the right time that you are called. What does it? That's a nice way. I mean, by mistake, you're throw up. But Odianka, no crebu or what? More ya and your true crumb. We are Nipo de Kain. Nice a simple baby, such a den your friend in your sassam. Made them one when I say the same. Why don't they say he cut that? And pipe flat way. Flat braha. Shep nyan kupon e yana wama dia. Munye di na mun she. Munye kum na mun she di nyame ye. Se flesh benya kwain. Ama a di wa tiem pai boy ya. Flesh. Pe kwam bebo shoma akwe tiem pai boy. Wai, fa konun tie. Aha be ho, mun pe kwam be faso. Na mun tie se nyan kupon wom mne. Ah, o di shida e basa si so. One of the best way God finds us in Ghana to alleviate poverty is what Honorable Kendapa is doing. What, what do you mean by Honorable Kendapa? Has he come to you? 
Uh, what were you sitting here talking about? We were talking about pajamas. You never mentioned. And pajamas. Who wore the pajamas for you to see? And because you have never worn pajamas before. The video circulating by that girl who is not too beautiful, but in the middle of beauty, actually, that's the only mistake in the bad day. You can you such girls. I mean, where you are here it's not say girl ni picture na circulating here the ampass here cause of penny na fire there e so o hwe bi o no hwe mi o because we ask mu say wo fa yire chi a wo fa dia bi e no yire dia na ye pe ana e ya ben wo yire dia no na dia we ni dia o de chi no enye baba ah onobu kenda pagafa ni adewi abu what are you talking about na say the mini bi e no kra ba ko we say yesu anse hwe Oba ni hu o tan yan kasan kasan no na sikeke na ye de asta so oni bibia se hwe tro sem me ka bible wo na kwa sorry so fo na kasan no in the book of genesis chapter 29 bible my yet ya se se ye won ba mi na ba ko o tan ba ko o fe ba ko hu o tan ba ko hu o fe na ba ko na ne hu o tan no jacob ewe ye manani ni je ade chi no hu se nim no ani ase ne nyepe e no sati so tetem ni din e de lea enti ye won lea fu o kru mo hu o tan enti na valentine we no i'm meeting all beautiful girls for valentine day if you are ugly don't come the time will come for ugly women enti o ba bi a o me ka se hu nye fe o se na o ba ti se me de send ye ya mbo no or your waiting period because Bema, dear me a Bema. So I say, me me a Bema. And I'm a TA. No, no, and nobody, I put a understatement because more will be so important. I mean, you are my auntie. I said, well, move so far by for near my son, Kunin Tam. They kill destiny. And I'm just a move killing destiny. Move killing destiny. But me, some papa or train press and one be pure more. I said, I'm one of your one and yet. And yet, this is the beginning of the destiny. Why not think twice? Or you're born for? Hey, I'm not born a gene. Hey, what will be I'm a thing? Why? But think twice. Doctor, think twice. Ah, your mental deficiency. Now we're in the first room. No, me me dear no. Who who did me compare no? And I bet you be be a can. But he has a mental deficiency or mental disorder. Someone catch what I'm saying. Mental, we are sound. Soundness is defined by the way I talk. I'll be surprised to know from a doctor, a world trained doctor, so that a be a professor. Well, I mean, getting to know from a clinical point of view, say I'm sound, no, and your woo and our problem because who the listener, they should be descending enough to know, say, they make canoe, young someone on your sending, and did they make canoe, me make a say, so would you say, young send you more? That's a minimum one and what do you mean? Thank you very much because what do you need a twisty iron work clock and your wristwatch? They say, I work clock. Oh, dear, he can't walk clock. But dear, he can't. No, cry over me, say. Nyan kupon bosu. Oh, boy, nyame nyi nano. A dear bakku wa ye, ni say. Oh, boy, boy, fe sanka ya humbe chri ye. Shwe du fa. Shwe du es. Shwe u yire. U nyan kwa ya. Shwe me yire. Ah, wa yire. O se. Ah, na wampa. I don't know me da heli na se no. Se, ten years will keep you something like this. Me. Na me wala ere. Ah, who nim sa boyire? Ah, me who nim sa na me yire? Ni ma me ma sinum. Eh 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 o se o ma me ba pa ni won se won mu chaje ana ko mu wa jawan a bi so fo shi ai ara mu de mo ba ni ma wa re na ke won mu ne shi ai a mu gwe ho ba a sori ni sel won se the church has no marriage i'm still telling you so when we are talking be careful you don't speak against the leadership that gives marriages that how that's what you just did no, I'm sure. Now, get busy one at Snaja Walia. I am one. Ah, Naka would you be walling on me? Me, Walumia, by Wubenya, crying about getting ready. You become an errand boy for your sister. Thank you. What must you obey errand boy? Would you sober? Would you drink sober? You probably are going to be and you will not really be a, be part of the my ceremony the way you are. I'm buying you a pajamas. I'll be back soon. Mm. Yeah, we're here in the way I am, we're here in the way I am.
Holy learning. Kukwa, thank you so much for joining us this morning. This is the first time we are doing here our regular Tuesday bits, relationship and marriage um, seminar that we do every time. Actually, it's the School of Marriage and Relationship. And today, we're just here going to discuss the way forward for the men and the women. Usually, the men and women have their own challenges, but it's, 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 it's always um, the best way for you to understand a man. The chemistry of a man is not the same chemistry of a woman. Honorable Kendapa has not done anything wrong. I think that we are just uh, beating about the bush. We are only making silly noise in the system. If you go to my timeline, go and watch the prayer we pray for the um, side chicks, you will know what God has done in the life of this country. We pray that God will cross them over to help people uh, manage their marriages. Side chicks are side chicks because there's an original madam in the house. So I don't know why we should just be, you know, speaking against side chicks. Why are we uh, talking and making noise about these acts of a young girl taking a video from, I think, there's a problem. There's, there's a problem. And the problem is that we, we, we are having a problem and the problem is very simple. Well, we're, the problem is very, very simple. And uh, the problem is that we, we are thinking different way. Uh, the reason is that I was saying something before the Ahinka came. I mean, I, I talk when even the mic is off. Yeah, I talk when the mic is off. Yes, because I know I have a lot of people listening to me, watching me on Facebook, even though you are playing your advert. You know what I'm talking about? So I don't stop talking. I mean, that's why I don't wear dark in, in, in dark places. I have clean eyes. Oh, they have a mental problem. All of them. Quote me everywhere. I bring a camera here in dark. Immediately I get to the stage, I take it off. Yes. Uh, at the moment, I was born here. And once I was born here by law, I am a Ghanaian. They have a lot. But at the moment, there's no evidence. Uh, a damp there, it is declared by a, a, a psychiatrist. Not people like you. Because if so, like you, you are gone a long time to the mental hospital. But you see, Odia in kind, the reality of life before you give chance of. Some of you may be a lamb or be a beside your person. You can't come there. They can say, Nyanko Pompo, we are saying, Nyanko Pompo, we are saying, Nyanko first anchor. Yen Nyan, we are saying that. I'm telling you, when you meet men, like Honorable Kendapa and their colleagues who are alleviating poverty out of this country. We need to appreciate them and thank God for their life. Oh, okay. 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 Do you know how much school fees they are paying? All your can for for two girls who say they are in Japanese. Ask them how they became Japanese. It is the same people that help them. Quiet at your panel. Kai. Kai. What is police the oldest profession on earth is prostitution and it's the most noble and decent profession. Do you preach in your church? Ah, you ask me again. Ask your pastor. He's my friend. Why? Why? What is going on? Now, oh man, Wally against who? No, Abeku is surviving in, on this earth. What you way? When you are no more move me now. Your survival is my lifeline. You are still married because of me. If I make a mistake and divorce your wife, you will regret. As short as you are, Fletch, I don't Fletch. When you are a short man and you are married, shut up and stay. Who? Who? Repeat yourself. Have you seen Mama Rebecca before? Yes. What is her height? She is her height. Thank you very much. So if His Excellency the President makes a mistake to bluff and leave, it will be difficult for him to get anybody to marry her like Mama Rebecca. And family home. When you answer, put a music. Now, did your head gap? Now, what? What's it? That was it. That was it. What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? Okay. Time I will call it here. Oh, you can. A yes, my dear. No, currently, I'm 40. A baco. Now, Obia would tell me, Bia, 
enko ye sachi ka uti emia oni obi kunu eko outa ne yire eye dede from niamboa na untumi manage ni kunu because side chicks are an essential examination for husbands 0277 609 644 uti ye na uhia obi a owo bi kakra e ya me me so empty ti se ge your dey long fingers i have video we onya boni de onabo kenda pa what in be men ni you are very romantic and we are learning from you 0277 609 Six of Odin Bacho this year, he has started the Council of Fan Club. Yeah, here president. Yeah, here secretary. Now, you put here for secretaries and president. And yes, she won't put your job that. Your job will not be beginning of the show. Well, we are still learning. The question is that a lot of people are believing that Kenda Pa Honorable has done a mistake. What error has he committed? Tell me the errors and I'll read for you. All of you who are making noise and talking loose. Have you ever been a side chick before? All of you making the noise. Have you dated somebody's husband before? What is your locus? What right do you have? Where is the wrong here? Is there a religious wrong? Is there a legal wrong? Is there a traditional wrong? Where is the wrong here? We are just them making noise. Then you see, I, I like Louis Louis Falokan a statement he made some time ago. He said, He who has not fallen yet, those who are falling, be careful you don't laugh against them. Why? Because the one you are laughing against today, I came to tell you, if yours come, who will equally laugh at you. All of you making noise from a fierce was nigger to Miss Bell and all the other people who are talking that Kendapa, you are mocking Kendapa. Haven't you dated people's husband before? What do you have that you bought it by yourself? Which of your money doesn't have one peswa? That is coming from a married man. Look, if you meet a married man that is responsible and have taken a decision to assist you to become something, be careful you don't misbehave. Let me tell you, this is not to endorse promiscuity. Keep that in your head. But I'm saying that it is an act that we came to meet. And it is not our tenor of office in the year that will bring it to an end. So let's learn the way we are talking and speaking against the Honorable Minister. What wrong has he done? Have you watched the video? What is nice? When you are relaxed and a young girl that is around you, who is in love with you, that you are managing, will give you a phone call. And with the love and respect you have for female, you pick the call and you express your genuine emotional feelings on her behalf. What is wrong with it? What is wrong with it? What is wrong with it? That to the extent that some people have been saying that he should resign. Resign and go and do what? The security situation in this country. Has it gone bad? Has the security situation in this country gone bad? When people have been told leave, resign from office, is because they have misbehaved and their, 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 their services to, at where they have placed them is inefficient. I'm asking you. Mayhems, during the election, that, uh, what do you call it, uh, a biology election and all the misunderstanding and everything, didn't they solve it? Ladies and gentlemen, I think that we are becoming ostriches that we don't discuss sensible things that will help us. Can we shut up and allow people who have enough to take care of the girls who don't have? Let them take care of them. Those of us that we are not doing, it's not because of anything. One, lack of opportunity. Two, lack of finances. Because even what we are giving to our wives, their demands are so high that a small girl will come and take a girl from me. All of you. All of you. With your first degree, your second degree, your third degree, your master's program and everything. How many of you have genuinely worked hard to get what you have? It is a support from people. A mistake has occurred that a young girl that had a nice conversation with a very noble man like Kendapa has lived out there. Everybody is insulting. Why? What is that? I warn you from the beginning of the year. That this year, whatever concerns relationship. Even if it doesn't concern me, I'll talk about it. Let's be very careful because this year, a lot of issues are going to happen. When a video pops up like this, one, 
You know, there are laws governing videos that are coming out. If the girl posted the video by herself, Kenda Park can take her own. But the content is in the content. What do you think this girl can do when she's taken to court? When this man takes this and reports and then and what was what would he get? Maybe so. Say honorable Kenda Pen, nay and I say video now ban yeah tracy baby a fee, nay who say fig any phone so not channel, near n no court jail, near den ye benya. Mwe mwan am see women and children. Let's protect our women and our children. And yano and same baby a bubble corn. A camera quiet is saying Grofobi ni or Brebi a somo bo as I see so. Say Obeda ni minister, Obeda ni software, Obeda ni openi bia, Uni Brebi a beso bo, and ni je bia kedi a yeyu a fi mesamu. From the office of the president to the least person in Ghana, everybody has love in them, and the way they express their love, there's nothing wrong with it. People are saying no more. We shouldn't do video video call anymore. Because, I mean, what are we talking about? I don't think the girl really recorded this video for the act of degrading the minister. I don't think so. She might, you know, don't let me tell you, when you're doing video call, it's not recordable. So, for example, as I'm speaking to you people right now live on Facebook, I can come back and begin to record. You see it? But if I want to record you right now as you're watching me, one of the things I'll do is that I'll turn off the camera here and you only hear my voice. And I can record you because it's a video call your face is coming. Do you understand? One of the things that happened was that the girl was recording the video for the purposes of maybe one time coming to play back and see the voice of the man that she loves. Why has this led to something else? Maybe her phone got lost. Maybe somebody chanced on the phone and dropped the video. Why have we just jumped into a conclusion to come and make Honorable Kendapa as if she, he has committed the biggest crime on earth? Excuse me. Excuse me. He has not committed any crime. Your Excellency, Nanado Dankwa Akufadu, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nanawan, Mesrao, I'm pleading with you. I don't want to hear anywhere that based on this video that is out, we will hear proceed on leave. Step aside for investigation. Don't do so. Never do it. If you start this, you destroy your governance. Don't start this. Don't. No, no. You see, opinion dream at team in tea. As for these things, let it be a children's play. I don't even want to hear you coming to comment on it, Your Excellency. Not even from the office of the president. Nobody should give. I don't want any any of the ministers, any of the politicians to come and put their mouth in this game. I'm telling you the truth. Because you see. What has happened between us and Honorable Kendapa? There's nothing wrong with what happened. A man is genuinely expressing his love. Let me ask you, how many of you sleep with pajamas? Me. I can't remember the last time I slept with pajamas. <laughs> it's funny, eh? The last time I slept with pajamas was when I was on admission in the hospital. It was a mask for me to wear pajamas. <laughs> but Honorable travels and he's in pajamas. And for, for this young lady to have a conversation and record, it's not for any evil intention. Stop kneeling the girl. Let's stop it. Let's stop kneeling the girl. Yenjanya chono. Boni bang. Boni bang. Adain. 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 Mo kasa ma kopie ni yireso. Now let me address this issue here. Now. Any woman watching me that you suspect that your wife, your husband, has a side chick, the first thing you have to do is that it is a suspect. Even when you prove it, you won't get anything out of it. That's one. Number two, if you think that your husband is having a relationship with somebody else, don't ever think that you are the reason why your husband is doing that. Keep it clear. No wife has anything that they can do that will cause their husbands to cheat. I am not the only person in this in this in this country. I'm not the best person in this country. My decision for not having any relationship behind my wife is not because of my wife, not because of God, not because of the family. It's because of myself. Maybe fear of the unknown. Maybe poverty level or the richest level I have. 
But this is not also to justify the act. When a man makes a decision to cheat on the wife, or when the wife makes a decision to cheat on the husband, there is nothing you can do to stop it. There's nothing. There's nothing. So wives, one, this is your lesson. Don't begin to crucify yourself. Kill yourself. Kneel yourself. Go to gym. Go and steam your face. Remove your fat. Change your belly. Reduce your breast. Increase your butt. Just because you want to help your husband to stay with you alone. Shut up and stop it. I'm saying this very carefully. Because you see, one of the challenges we're having is that majority of you have come to a position to believe that you are the reason why your husband is cheating. No, any man who is cheating and you are watching me, or anyone who is cheating right now and you are watching me, your wife is not the reason why you are cheating. Whether you have, your wife has traveled to Abruzzi and you are here alone, it doesn't justify cheating. Whether your wife has refused Listen, listen oh. If your wife has refused to give you sexual intercourse the number of times you want at home, it doesn't justify cheating. I mean, keep these things carefully. If there's a conflict between you at home and your wife is refusing you sex, refusing you everything, it doesn't justify you to go and cheat. So this thing that we are doing, and if it's in America by this time, this man has resigned because, please, 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 please. There are men today who are still alive because of side chicks. And I'll continue saying this, that may God protect and guide side chicks. One person has been foolish. Sorry for you. That is why I'm saying that all the girls who have dated married men before, if you're a young girl who have dated a married man, or you are dating a married man and you plan to marry today and you think that one of the ways that you can marry clearly is to share your past secret with your current boyfriend. You are a fool, Jimmy Bulu. 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 That you have gone out with a minister before. You have gone out with a pastor before. You have gone out with your boss before. And because a young guy has come into your life, and he's tickling your ears he wants to marry you, you think that it is a confession table. You want to tell the guy everything. You are a fool. With no apologies. Because watch it here. In our current relationship, relationship is about the present and the future, not the past. I'm telling you. So one, women, wives, I'm begging you, wives, husbands, Never ever think that you are the reason why your spouse are cheating. Get out of that sickness. Obia would tell me, men boom, one boom, fiance, and you won't tea, and I will come, and now we're getting a fowl tea. Yifu Adimu. Yifu Adimu. Yifu Adimu. We are learning. This is the school of relationship and marriage. And I think that it's hard time that those of us who have authority over relationship, we should stop the bias nature and come and teach. So share the page. Share the page. If you care to give a call, you care to, to, to also give a contribution, just go down here. And when you finish, remember that you subscribe to my YouTube channel because you have more education there. Yes, Very soon I'll close. And I'll leave the platform for the rest of you. I'm here to let you know the truth. If you are a wife and your husband is cheating and you are trying as much as you can to have an evidence to nail your husband, you are just a fool in the making. Now we are Jimmy for. I I I I know your agreement with me is not going to change my my thinking. No, when it's a summer thing. At the end, he said, "Yen shen ukreni yenka." Ena upe kwain. I'm obiye usamba. You want to prove to the public that your husband is cheating on you? You are a fool to still be married to that man. What Jimmy? 
If you think that your husband is cheating, why do you want to prove to everybody he's cheating? For what reason? Remember that when you have a side chick, it's not equivalent to marrying more than one. That's some more canon. That eh, marry more. People are married to six, eight women and they still have side chicks. Side chicks are part of the marriage. Look, today you are a side chick. When they marry you, there will be another side chick. So if you are a woman in the house, and you think that your husband is cheating, so you are beginning to live a certain life. Change. Say son. Be a wife. Marry your husband. Let me tell you. Men who are giving their attention by their wives, when they are cheating on you, they feel very guilty. Why are you confronting him? You read the WhatsApp. You had a phone call. Imagine your wife goes. Imagine your wife goes to look for a young girl. Like what happened between Vigizuga and the woman that the pastor prophet went to go and then say he has turned over. I said it is nonsense. How can my wife, me, my wife, go to my girl, my side chick school and go and misbehave there? Nonsense. And she'll still be my wife? For what? You think that the marriage has come to an end? Leave and look for a man to marry you. Look, most of you are bluffing. I'll leave you and marry again, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you leave, you get anybody to marry you. You get anybody to marry you. I read today on, and most of you have seen it. It's a public notice. Uh, Miss Nancy has brought the, her father's picture in the day and said she's thanking God for her divorce. I mean, and I, I think that most of you are not understanding her. But unfortunately for her, she too, if I were to be in her shoes and she was spoken to me, I'd tell her this was nonsense for her to do. Because right now, where the stage you are in, if you are divorced from a man, if you divorce a man, the court gives you chance that maximum 18 months, two years, you should be able to marry again. So if you are divorced from a man who was a bad man, and after three years down the line, no man has come to marry you, be careful you tell people the man was a wrong man. That you come and thank God because of your divorce. Are you normal? Then I am. Who lied to you? For what? If you want to celebrate your divorce, celebrate your divorce in new marriage. Just like uh, Gifty Adoya. Honorable Adoya's wife, Gifty. She celebrated her divorce in a new marriage. And we are seeing the fruit of her labor today. Christiana Love. She has celebrated her divorce in a new marriage. Not born one, not born two. So a man has impregnated you, he has left you with children, and you are continuing having children without anybody coming to marry you. Ask yourself, why ever since the man left you, all of a sudden, nobody's marrying you? It's not demon. It's not demon. So why do you celebrate divorce? Celebrate divorce in marriage. Let the man that left you Feel hurt losing you. Why? Because somebody else have grabbed you already. I fear he near Ukru Jao. Bosumi say near Berman on this Sanko yesterday with Jawa Walia. How many years now since your divorce came? Why are you still single? If the man was a bad man. That is why you drop him. Why haven't you gotten another man again? Well, maybe it's my agenda for this year that I said. That all born one, born twos must marry. Why? Because if you are born one, born two, and the man who gave birth to, the, to you with, for the, with the children is taking care of the children, you can be able to marry again. So most of you two, you have glued yourself to the B1, B2 you are carrying. Your mistakes that are your children are the reason why no man is coming to your life. But I came to tell you today. Be angry. Leave it. If you are snigga, attempted marriage. And she comes back to say that now she wants to become an example for people so she will marry again. Somebody tell a fear that the best thing that can happen to her on this earth is to marry again. Miss Bell, marry again. Even Nancy, marry. Nana Banamwa, marry. All of you who have children, marry again to prove to us that it's possible to make it. Possible to make it. 
But don't leave a single life and let us believe that a single life is the best thing. Never. Statistics, which you can go and read, says that 78% of children are fatherless. And breaking down, 68% are alive, not dead. But are not present in the life of the children. One, due to child support. Two, due to parental conflicts. What is your issue? What? Marry and divorce. 400 times you can divorce. Marry 400 times. Forget about the church. The church is lying to you that you can divorce. There's nothing called Christian marriage. There's nothing called Christian marriage. This ring I'm wearing is a legal ring. It's not a church ring. We only chose to use the crowd of witnesses in a church. If I decide to divorce today, the certificate I have is from the government of Ghana, not from the church. So don't let anybody keep you in a wrong marriage so that you become a wrong person and then you begin, you begin to live a wrong life and begin to pollute the other people. Look at this country. Look at all the prominent young girls. Look at their life. Nothing is happening to them positively. Look at their life. Look at Kwebim Polo. Five-year-old child. And Kwebim Polo has become so many years in this country and she's not been able to announce that she's going to get married again because the life she's living, the first guy who came as a mistake, is she correcting her mistakes? Is she correcting her mistakes? The last time you had sex and you had an unwanted child was because you had unprotected sex and you didn't know anything about safe period. So you had a child as a teenager. Be true to yourself. Haven't you gotten an abortion again after that time? Have you learned anything? This is the, re the, the replical effect of wives not understanding their position as wife, but rather competing to look for who is dating my husband, who is going out with my husband, which is that small girl that they want to pick a phone and call the person, then the person, young girl, young girl, how old are you? I want you to know that in this world, whatever you do, somebody else will do to you. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm telling you, there are girls today who are married to men that they never slept with anybody's husband. So, but people are sleeping with their husband. Is it their fault? What are we doing to relationship in this country? And the whole world as a whole. What are we doing to relationship? People begin to learn. I don't care. I don't care who is there. The truth be told. I don't know when my maker will call me. But let there be a record set straight. That relationship will be better 2020 this year. Because we will not leave any store on 10. Go and report and let them call me. So that we will have a makeable solution. I don't care about it. As proud as you are in public. Marry. Marry. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Tell them. Tell them you are 40. So what? Look, if you have a child, you are 40 and you don't have a husband. And you have a shop. You have a factory. Among all women. You are useless. The purpose of creating a woman is for marriage. So all of you achieving without men in your life, shut up. Sit up and let a man come into your life. There is a type of man for you. It's better for you to be a second wife to a very caring, loving husband than to be the only wife to a man who is not caring for you but you are caring for yourself. Wives, stop blaming yourself that you are the reason why your husbands are cheating. Stop! If you didn't take anything from what I said, I said, wives, stop blaming yourself that you are the reason why your husbands are cheating. Wives, Stop blaming yourself that you are the reason why your, your husband. Stop blaming yourself that you are the reason why your wives are cheating on you. When your wife makes a decision to cheat, it is not you. And as for you, some pastors, some pastors, be careful because you are destroying some homes. God has called you, but you are calling yourself in, in some particular atmosphere that God has not led you to the place. Spirit, there's a spirit sleeping with your wife. There's a spirit pushing your husband to go and sleep with girls. Ladies and gentlemen, sexual intercourse can never be spiritual. Male organ erection, what is spiritual by erection? What? Tell me, what is spiritual by erection? What? 
I can sit here right now and erect. It's just a matter of, <coughs> sorry, gathering things in my head that can rush blood into my spongy tissue. Then I get it. What is spiritual about it? Mm -hmm. I'm bringing special eyes. What is spiritual about it? We are really not speaking wisdom. We are not teaching people. We are making people feel like the world has come to an end with marriages. My foot, marriage is the best thing that happened to you. But I came to announce to you, if you are in a bad marriage, don't stay in it and pollute other people who have not come in. Leave and prove to us you can marry again. Don't come on social media and post to us that you are excited with your divorce whilst you have not proven to us that you can marry again. Shame on you. Shame on you. You have a child. How old is your child? A man impregnated you. Your son is 15 years. Your son is 9 years. Your daughter is 8 years. Your children, the last one out of wedlock that you were not planning for the pregnancy and he came, is about 6 years old. What have you done with your life after 6 years? What have you done? What have you done? People, I say, there is nothing including my wife, any woman can do to keep a man home. Nothing. Women, sit up. Stop your investigation. No, leave them away. And no, baby, it's in the camera. And no, Alpha Hako, you say. And I see, say, look, you go to church and you play useless prayers. Your husband is your prayer topic. You are a fool. For what? Are you praying for your husband so that nobody will love your husband? Or you are praying for good health? Look, there are some men who are alive today because of side chicks. Because the side chicks continually speak good words on this man. Whilst their wives. Will constantly speak loose about them. The young girl that the video is circulating, most of you have got mouth to talk. He said to Honorable Kendapa, Let me see what you're wearing. Nice pajamas. He says, I'm going to take my bath. He says, When you dress up and going for the meeting, let me see what you are wearing to the meeting. These are dutiful wife matters. Your husband travels. Do you even call him? So, let me tell you, your call or not calling him doesn't reduce him from talking to a girlfriend. Don't hold yourself accountable for the mistakes of your husband. Wives, don't blame yourself for the mistakes of your husband. Husbands, don't blame yourself for the mistakes of your wife. Foolish talk goes around and makes a lot of hair wigs, makes a lot of likes. I came to tell you today, if you're a young girl coming up and you are planning to get married, don't let the foolish thing happen to you like your predecessors. They are fools. That's why they are still singles. I'm telling you the truth. Quote me everywhere. Why is your child more than one year and after that mistake you did, tell me you've not had sex again. You're having sex. Other than now, you've learned a lesson, so you're having sex protected or you are on contraceptive. Why are you not getting married? Why? Oh, because I'm spending money to take off my child. Is the child yours? I got the idea. Is the child yours? I have impregnated you. I have named my child. Who has asked you to spend your money on my child? Pleasure to record that content to keep. Stop castigating her. Stop insulting her. Stop speaking against her. She never had any ulterior motive. She wanted to keep the fun. And that is what has happened. Yes. 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 The foolish thing she did. But even if she has posted it, why won't you say thank you to the man who is taking care of that girl? Go and check. Maybe her fees. If it's not on our Kenapa, she will not be educated to become an asset to the nation. Thank you, Nanado Akufuado, for free SHS. We thank him that some students now will get a chance to go to SHS not through sexual means, not through help. But people are going to. You, 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 whoa. you can't even be proud. Let tell you. Who's been trying to share what you're saying? Yeah, in case.
Now, but friend who said it, but now a bravo, and you know, wives, stop investigating your husbands. Husbands, stop sending spies. If you are not comfortable with the woman you are working with, and you think everybody can have sex with her, divorce her and stop the silly, silly things you are doing in town. And because you are sending a person, or baby, or in a one or in a and now watch you side chicks. I'm addressing side chicks now so that I can close for today. If you are watching me and you are a side chick, remember, you are a side chick because there is madam. A man who is not married cannot have a side chick. Hello? A man who is not married cannot have a side chick. <coughs> I've been coughing for about a week now. You only become a side chick because there is a madam. Girls, listen to me carefully. Stay within your lane and your limit. The man that is taking care of you behind the wife have not introduced you to the wife as a side chick. So be careful you don't introduce yourself to anybody as a side chick. Only fools. Jimmy for. That you have decided. It's not that the man is hiding it from you. A married man that you know, you this girl, you know, you that you are watching me as a side chick, you know the man is married. And you took a decision to go out to the man. Don't announce yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, any man that is able to introduce the girlfriend to you as a girlfriend while he's married, he's a foolish man and he's digging a grave for himself. Side chicks are chicks that are hidden. They are not exposed. You can disown them anytime once you are married. But the challenge here is that if a man is married and you know he's married and you are dating him, number two, give respect to the wife. Ladies and gentlemen, listen carefully. If you are watching me and you are dating a married man, respect the wife of the married man. Because if that woman was not there, you would not become a side chick. Shame on you, the new girls who just got married. You, the new girls, to know. And it's not good to have somebody. Shut up. As for side chicks, you. You, who you are stopping people from, from coming to become a side chick to your husband. How did you pay your rent? How did you go to school? How did you complete the first degree? Please. Why are you paying? She ye. No, I can't say acquired. Asao, ne bwane ne day. Obye tu ni huwe si yo. So anu diye. Ode ni vi diye mu. Ne etu o yase. Nyanku po mre ne mre pa. A man is sooner than me, Pastor Gina, and your woo cassa. Munjai San Samna Mokika Ukrumuhano. So hear me very carefully, side chick. This nonsense video that came out. Side chick association of Ghana, call your girls, come forward to and warn them that this should never happen. If you are recording, Side chick, never announce yourself. Keep hiding as a side chick. Even if madame is looking for you to prove to everybody that you are a side chick, never give yourself up to madame to look for you. Number three, side chick listing. If you are a side chick, don't intend to be pregnant to have an indelible mark in the heart of the man. You are a fool. Jimmy, say when you be cruel to implant. Now we two who see you. Say when you be a woman, you plan. Aye, Jimmy, I'm not there. About friend, be a you be who you be ano. Or your living thing, so that child becomes a connection and an evidence to what you are doing in secret. Enti, Papa, ni ya na adi so beso a woman e dia. When him. Nebusien who said, Papa ne pe bafo fro abonti. 
and no so ya ne wo wo a wo ni che fa e wo fi ho enti de e se fata bo fra no ya nya ma no na san when the man takes a decision that he wants to have a child with you then you want to give a clearance that the family will understand that this is a request by the married man and you a dua man san a dua fua you are ready to have that child Let's stop the unplanned pregnancies in this country. This year, I'm going to teach you what is called safe period. I have demonstrated on how to use Kono for you at the orgasm conference. I am coming to break down what it means to have a safe period for you. Girls, keep your channel on the YouTube channel. education. Once the male organ is not covered and is entering your private parts, a discharge would definitely cause you to be pregnant. So think twice. It doesn't make sense for you to have a child and hide the, the father of the child. We don't want to know. But the child cannot grow with your name. How on earth should you have a child and put your name on the child? Bon one. Bon two four. Let's get out of that nonsense. This year, be bold enough. Change the children's name. Let them stop writing your father's name and your name. Let them begin to write the name of the men that you know they impregnated you. So that the children will have future. Then let's see you getting married. This year. This year. The Council Luther Fan Club. I'm going to recruit all the born ones to be part of it. Because I need to educate them. I want to be proud enough to see that four children but they are able to marry sensible men look it's better for you to be a second wife even with four children once the man can show you love and can take care of you not your children which are ss baggage oh children are from god shut up shut up which one of the bible tells you that every child that was born in the bible there was a plan for the child once sexual intercourse came in planning came in even Jesus Christ that there was no sex. The Bible says that they sought for a virgin Mary before they used virgin Mary for that particular activity. So I don't default. I don't befall you. I don't get angry with you that you are having sexual intercourse unprotected and you didn't want to think about pregnancy and then pregnancy came. You said you were abort. Admit that it's a mistake. It was not planned. Ladies and gentlemen, side chicks, don't get pregnant for a married man who has not planned to have a child out of his children at home. Point number four, side chick, have a plan in going out with a married man. Your right to go out with 400 married men at the same time, it is not an error. It's your capacity. But see what happens to you. If you give yourself to four married men to be having sexual intercourse with you, you are exposing yourself to four different male organs with four different types of infection, if there is any. You are also exposing yourself to get pregnant, especially now that education in Ghana about sexuality is down. You don't even know when you are related and when you got pregnant. So when a girl man, you are dating a girl man, you are dating a fanti man, you are dating an Aibe man, and you are dating a Nodna. When you get pregnant and you don't know who, you start roaming. I'm pregnant for you. There's no me. The last I did sleep with you. Then you go to the next person. You go to the third person. You know, say, what Jimmy? Because at the end of the day, the child went round, 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 round until none of them accepted. I was told a funny story yesterday. And I told the person who told me it's not funny that somebody claim a child by Bruni say if he ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to tell you that if you are a the protocols that involve side chicks, side chicks, remember the protocol one respect the wife of the man you are going out with because without the wife, you can't be a side chick. Number two, have a plan. 
in the game. I will explain the plan to you in my next lecture. Have a plan. Don't just be there. Number three. Don't make babies for this married men who have not decided. Don't think that making babies will cement your, your living there. Number four. Whatever plan you have, remember that in that relationship, the man who has seen you and is going out with you behind the wife can go out with any other person like you. So those of you who are fighting over one man's male organ whilst the wife is sitting somewhere, stop it. Don't do anything that will expose you publicly that you are going out with a married man. It will degrade you. It doesn't make it wrong. It doesn't make it right. But what happens here is that never introduce yourself as a side chick of any married man. Don't do it. Even if the married man has the gas to introduce you or meet my side chick, get offended so that you should be pacified. Hello? Say, Obia, Obi Kunani, ne chim plan. Et me yin and no catch your bissel, Charlie. When a boy make a crank a crow, our enemy may tell you, a bola, and ya gay yanka me woo. Muna wenim. Get offended. Don't smile about it. Because that relationship must not be advertised. So, Tinny Yeno, Nanko Yemana, on Jani Yeno. Na so shena una uko ya no walo. Sachik, don't let anybody downplay your position in any man's life. You are part of marriages and you didn't start it. In Bible time, even when Solomon knew who God was, he had wives and still had concubines. So when men marry more, it doesn't stop them from having side chicks. Friends, can we be honest for once? Finally, side chicks. Finally, young girls. Finally, they're unmarried. Finally, born ones, born twos. Finally, they're divorcees. Never of telling the new guy who is planning to marry you in the name of the Lord, your past. I also hope they are writing notes. But if you go to YouTube, you can go and listen to it on YouTube, Counselor Lutrot, on my channel. Write the notes. Ne the word is never, ever run down your life in the past for the current guy who is thinking of marrying you. Don't. Don't. And, and for me, I, the last guy I dated, I told him no sex again because I become a Christian. So what? Is the new guy Jesus? Ghanaian men, Ghanaian leaders should wake up, forget what you are saying, tell the leaders to make the economy better for the youth of the. I mean, we don't need these things. Make the economy better for what? No matter how better the economy will become, these young girls will still need support from the rich people. So stop these things. This is not my economy. Honorable can the past soundness for the security in this country is because there is sound relationship for him. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, if the wife begins to bring him nonsense, he will run the country into nonsense. So let's stop this ostrich conversation. This is your Bible talk that you are using to coerce people and keep people in bondage. Forget it. Forget it. Brainwash some of them, but not all of them. Remember my submission. I am not here justifying people cheating on their spouses. I'm also not here to call But I'm saying that it is part of the marriage and it is a personal decision within the level of the temperament weakness of an individual. So when somebody makes a decision to do it, we want them to know that they are doing something against themselves 
and not against their spouses. Because I have so many wives today who are dying, who are sick, who are growing nasty, who are growing lean because their husbands are sleeping with every girl in town. Ladies and gentlemen, the risk involved is the infection. This is why I say every girl watching me, once you are a side chick, take care of your sexuality. Be afraid of infection. See a doctor. Yeah, Take care of yourself. Know your HIV status. This year at orgasm conference, we made people got a chance to do their test. And people were happy they know their status. Some were shocked that the life they have lived, still they are negative. This is what I wanted to do this year. Know your status on the oath of secrecy and privacy. Don't go to anywhere that they'll keep a record in town. It's a secret. You can come to me. We'll do it for you. And remember, it will be secret for the rest of your life. If you are positive, you can go for drug and live well. What we are trying to learn right now is that because the life of sex has become common, let's begin to allow the girls to live a better life so that when people are crossed over having sex round, 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 they will not have infection. Ladies and gentlemen, side, my last point, side chicks, be proud that one day you become a wife. But when you become a wife, don't become a marriage counselor. Most Ghanaian girls, in recently some guys married them after they dated people's husbands. And now, even some of them, their marriages, married men sponsored it. Today, they are out here on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, advising young girls not to go on people's husbands. God will punish you if he's there watching me and listening to me. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. When their time is up, he who created them in his image and likeness, who has weaved them and granted them the option to be what they are, he will turn their tables at the right time. He is the one who can lay you a table in the presence of your enemies and will cause your cap to run over. Not any man. We will do the work. But he brings the answers. Ladies and gentlemen, side chicks, take care of yourself. All side chicks watching me, Start the year by knowing your clinic. Go and know your HIV status. I am ready for you. Free test. Free VCT. Come. When you know your status, then this is what happens to you. All the men you are sleeping with, it gives you confidence that they are secured. You men too, who are sleeping around with all these girls, I will not be a fool to tell you stop. Know your status. The most scary thing in this part of our world is HIV AIDS. When HIV AIDS is not there, sex will be exciting, unprotected. Till then, protect yourself from strange male organ. Protect yourself from strange female organ. Don't think, say, I want to medi. Hey, hey, to when him. Side chicks. Make me proud. Born once. Make me proud. And now to you, the born once. If you don't have any right to tell anybody that marriage is bad, shut up. If you are if impregnated and giving birth with a certain man and the man is not being responsible, rather come, let's help you cause the man to be responsible because you have to marry again. Divorcees, marry again. Let your husband, ex-husband see you and cry. Choose well. Go for the right people. If you go and be a second wife in a rich man's house, let your husband cry. Cry. Let your ex-husband cry. Don't come and post a picture on Instagram. Don't come and post a picture on Facebook. Don't come and post a picture right there on Ghana web for people to know that one time you were married and now you are single. Shame! time My said, now, Obin Kofa will hold marriage pictures. No fan bay and to Tohon, near Musa Wadi Winya. Munkachi Fiasu as you say, Oh, Wally Bill. Miss Bell, Wally. Nana Wana Mwa, Wally. Ivan Essing, Wally. Well, Jazzy Dumas, Wally. Wambio, Ekapi Polo, Wally. Wambio, bring your names. 
They have, I want to see them married. Because they have huge following. Vigizuka, get out of these spiritual things and marry. So for a chichiru, and not chichiru, Vigizuka, you are chichiru in our way. Vig, get out and marry. You are a beautiful girl. Somebody wants you as a wife. Even as a second wife, it makes a lot of sense. Don't work there. You can't be a side chick forever. There is a stoppage in side chicks. I beg you. I'm here to help you as I pledge on the oath of secrecy and privacy. Remember, that's my I am worried because as long as we produce more children out of wedlock, the more the ozone layer would deplete with a lot of nonsense in our world, not just Ghana. If you are not ready, protect yourself with condom. But let every child be born with a plan. Don't give us unwanted children anymore. If your husband is dead, exactly one year after a widow would write, somebody must love you. Hey, how can your husband die? And 10, 15 years, 14 years, nobody's marrying you. Oh, yeah, time, sir. Oh, yeah, 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 time, yeah, yeah. Moko sumo bo, o wak bo esi bo, no yo, o yo kuna, be mini, or you are comfortable in your husband's house, and they have told you that by law, when you make a decision to marry, then you leave your husband's property. So because of property, you are among your husband's goals. Mm -hmm. Even if you are 60 years, get some 70 year old man to marry you, and enjoy the fruit of marriage. Our day yet dead. Oh! Stop your prayer. Yes, Jacobia. Marry. Mark Brown just got married and have a child. Marry Jacapia. Thank you for writing. Jacapia, write their names for me. Let me remind them. I am not against any of them. I am not fighting them. I, they are good people that we have to follow them. And when they break, they break the record, this will be better for us in this nation. It's like they are setting a record that want to continue. No way. No way. That is why Nancy can come and say what she said. She's proud and thank you God and celebrate. No, Nancy should rather come and let us get this video of a new husband and is flattened down there and we can go back and see that she was one time married. It's in the past. Why you come and put this on social media? Sweet girls that I love so much. And she knows. But when somebody, I, I put her on my show. So somebody called me today. I didn't know about it. Somebody called me today and said, ah, the lady who did this thing, why her marriage just collapsed, and I was like, Oh, I can't. she has not given me invitation recently. So marriage when I collapse. You see, a lot of people read Nancy's article like she just got married and the marriage has divorced. No, don't give people the chance to think of negative things for you. Let us hear that Miss Nancy is getting married again, and the again will come because your ex-husband will become a byword at the dada. Ah, what is it? Oh, Lydia Fossey doesn't have a child. If she has, fine. I hear recently there was, there's some live news down there that, uh, what was the name? Uh, 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 Moesha Boudon has an eight-year-old child. I mean, that one. I mean, when the boys have children, they don't have problem. Kitty recently brought a child out. They, they are taking care of their children. So they'll get another woman to marry. Listen to me. Anyone one listening to me. If a guy wants to marry and has a child already, go and become a wife. Don't go and become a baby mama or a babysitter. Hello? This year, I'm going to teach the born ones. The Counselor Luther Fan Club is for education. I don't hate anybody. I'm telling you, if Onesi can tell you that I'm not a friend, but me, I would never in my life stop praying for her. Because she has a cult, a cult of following. Nana Banamwa has a cult of following. Uh, what's the name? Uh, uh, Mark Brown, court of following. Uh, what's the name? If you ask nigger, court of following. All of them have court of following. So I am concerned because most of their friends that are following them, they follow me. When they get positive returns, get a good record to set up there. It's not like when a few ask come to say that marriage is not good. It's going to become an example for the single people. No. If you are, you went in for a bracket who is a wrong choice. Prove to yourself again that you are available for another sensible man to marry you. Let's celebrate your marriage. You invited us, we came. Marry. Marriage is good. 
woman was created for man. That's why God didn't create you first. A woman was created for the desire of man. So when Honorable Kendapa is, you know, flexibly enough expressing nice love emotions to the girl, he doesn't make him a fool. He's just being godly to a woman. Men were created to give. Stop this ostrich abeyifonya true behavior. That because of this, he should resign. A plus. Stop this nonsense. You can do your politics. It's okay. Form your this thing. We all want to follow you. But for Kenda Pass issue that has come, shut up. The girl took the video for her own self to enjoy. And it has She has learned her lesson. Group. You know, Psychic Association. I've just educated them. Don't do any video and keep a game. Let it pass. Honorable Kenda Pass. Don't punish this girl for anything. Don't cut her off your books. She made a mistake. Honorable, I beg you, help her finish her course. When she become a lawyer in this country, the country will develop. If this girl is left there and doesn't get help, she will not become a lawyer for us. This is why I say, let's help men to become responsible. All the girls in Ghana who now say they are entrepreneurs, ask them. How many of them had a seed capital from the bank? Please. Side chicks. Don't make the mistake your colleague just did. But once, this year, at least two of you must go in marriage. If you don't want to come to me, go to those who believe in. Not the pastors who will pray for you and tell you nonsense. Go to those who will tell you what is wrong. Find the father of your children. Let the children be connected to their father their grandmother, their aunties, so you can have a new man in your life. If you are watching me, if you are sure guy is no trouble, I don't know why people keep putting her in that position. If you are got married, and that marriage that if you are got, put a lot of pressure on people. Because, I mean, people were shocked if you are got somebody to marry her. I'm telling the truth. And when you got broken, you saw what they were saying. So don't come and say that we are bringing trouble. What is trouble about Fiesh Fasenega? She has to marry. What is trouble about Miss Bell? She has to marry. What's your problem? Why? If you can go, she can call you to come and kill me for reminding her to marry. Because she made a statement that she's going, being single is not the best. Fiesh Fasenega, marry. She's the loudest voice among all the women. When she marries, we'll have a, something. With her. She's a let the leaders and let me encourage all of them. If you are, if you marry four hundred times, change the man four hundred times. Ask for somebody coming to break into your privacy to come. come. That thing Abraham did, I told everybody, is the biggest error ever a man like him will do. You are sleeping in a woman's house and then you have been sacked and you can come back to that house again. That's why I told you, your maid servant, sack your maid servant. You didn't listen to me. I, that is bygone. But now, if you are proof to me that I'm going to get a man to marry you, I will not live in that your nice house in that dummy corner there, that Chimota corner there. When a new man marries you, let him move you to your house and rent that property to make money. Yeah, but Chimota, dear female. Tracy Bachi is there. Zandi Kamel is there. Why can't they get married? This year should be an end for them. Girls, marry. 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 And the people know. Marry. You're twerking. Can't be? No. Marry. Don't be a side chick forever. You too. Produce a man so that somebody can use them as a side chick. Hello? Did you hear what I said? Don't be a side chick forever. Have a timeline on your psychism. If the man says have a child for him, then you want to now begin to say that you are a baby making machine, but you want to be happy there. That's a different story. If anybody tells you about a sin, let them tell you. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And no sin comes out of your life again. That's what the Bible says. David, 300 concubines, is money that determines married men, rich men in this country. I beg you, help the young ones coming by marrying them. If you have more money, marry more than one. That is why I encourage the young ones who are coming. When you go for what I've gone for, 
under the law, it's difficult to marry more than one. So don't go for this. But treat the woman well. Go for normal traditional marriage, not wedlock, not ordinance, sorry. We have three types of marriage in this country. We have the Muhammad marriage, Muhammadan marriage, we have the customary marriage, and we have the marriage of ordinance. With the marriage of ordinance prevents you from marrying more than one. But the traditional marriage gives you the right to marry more than one. The Muhammadan marriage gives you the right to marry more than one. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to, once God is going to bless you with money to take care of girls in town, I beg you, marry more. Never think that when you marry more than one, you stop cheating. It's not true. It is a behavior. Those of us who have not started, I keep telling myself, it will be lack of opportunity. It doesn't make me better than you there. So those of you that a pastor will have a relationship with you, or suffer the miracle, the miracle, where the miracle, suffer the miracle, where the miracle, the miracle, and I will free me call the whole miracle, and I papa will free me some member and home, call me call the miracle, me call away. Ladies and gentlemen, if any man invites you to a place and it is not for sexual intercourse because you are practicing prostitution, once you are able to leave the place, shut up. Shut up. If you give in, shut up. I say, being a side chick must be a shut up business. Where you need help, no. Now, side chick, number point number seven. If you are dating somebody's husband, know the man's family house. Why? Because when pregnancy comes according to the request by the man, foolish mistake which I say don't do again, you don't go to the man's marital home. You go to his family house. They will take care of the child. It is not the duty of any wife to come and be pacified because your husband has had a child out of wedlock. And wives, if you are supporting your husband to take care of the children you have at home, and the husband goes to impregnate another woman, they stop that support. Demand fully. Well, if you are, then me, me, as I'm sitting here, if my wife is supporting me in helping to run the house, because you go out and come, if you are a woman, 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 it is not her duty, but voluntarily she is doing it. That's different. There are other women that they have seen their husband that they seek an in so, so they will forcibly do everything so that they will help the man. Watch it here. If that is what you, you are doing, immediately your husband gets another child. Stop. Because if he doesn't have, he will not go and impregnate. Friends and loved ones, the club called Counselor Lutrot Fan Club, we want to establish it this year. The request from me is that I need presidents. I need vice president. I need chairpersons. I need secretaries. I need accountants. I need organizers. And we are going to have chapters all around the city and in Kumasi. Who tell me? No fan club. No person who do who shame here. Tie any free fan club. I befriend the poor, but I I help the poor. Sorry, but I befriend the rich. The child person of my fan club should be rich enough to take care of people who are not having in the club. It's going to be full of education. I'm going to lobby for scholarship in that particular place. I'm going to help people with sexual education. I'm going to help people with relationship education. This year, I'm going to establish that club. If you want to be part of the club, write this number down. And any of you can type the number on the screen for me. 0277. Six zero nine six four four. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to announce the number again. If you want to be part of Councilor Lutrot Fan Club, everywhere you are, all I demand from you is simple. Please just express your interest. And your interest expression is by sending to me your name your name so that we will know where you are by calling me on 0277 this club will not become a local club 
the fan club should go far into the foreign land. Germany should have consolidated a fan club where we come and teach. US should have. Australia. Everywhere in the world. This year, what the Lord told me is that I need to touch lives. He has told me that strength has come into my voice. I am not going to mind anybody. Assembly family, Mecca. If you say, Croya, your team, we are your team, you are your team, you are your team. I want to tell you that when you join the fan club, at your wedding ceremony, we'll present you certificates of realistic living from Councillor Luthor Fan Club. Because I'm building a school called the School of Marriage and Relationship. I'm not going to train counselors. No! That is my boss's duty, Professor Donyon's duty. I want to train people in marriages and relationship. How to do boyfriend, girlfriend. How to date. How to court. How to have sex before marriage. How to stay and not masturbate. And that is what I'm going to teach you. Counselor Fan Club is different from the Counselor Luther Foundation for Diabetes and Asthma. That is different. It will become part of a fan club. But when me Baba church right there, me for me fan club, I'm a shemu, ya con shemu, ya yenikrofako kasa, ya koe free screening, ya koe me see. I want to form this club to educate the people. So if you want to be part of it, the number that I just dropped. 0277-609-644. We're going to form a WhatsApp group. Big one. Very decent WhatsApp group. And we will operate from that level as well. We're going to get offices around the place that the offices will be registered. That in Crawford, Trahua, Juma, as an employment, we will create income. Now is there. She's doing boy hole. I'm trying to connect myself to get jobs for people. To, I'm saying, fan club now may form any political pressure group. Mine is not a political pressure group. I don't want to become a president of the country. I want to become a president of my fan club. And become a force to reckon with. Muslims are welcome. Christians are welcome. Hindus are welcome. Hare Christians are welcome. It is not a religious group. Ladies and gentlemen. Side chicks. Today I came to address you. Don't have any unwanted pregnancy. Every property you have acquired through a big man, protect it. When a new man comes to marry you, let him rent an equal building of that nature and go and live with them. Don't be content with what you have acquired through side chick business and stay single. Girls, marry for me. As for the young ones coming, I'm not worried. People like a few don't, they are not coming. But I pray that they don't make the mistake. I tell you, even Nelson's problem, I got hurt because she was one of the people that I look up to. She has disappointed me, but she will marry. I promise you, she will. Because right now, the way she speaks, I like it. And the way people are attacking her every time she talks, that's okay. Don't stop. It's a reminder for those of them who are not coming out to do the same mistake. A few of them will not do that mistake because she doesn't have a child yet. So don't do it, a few of them. Uh, what's her name? Pamela Dami? Don't do that same mistake. You see what your sister went through? What's the name of the girl who is not married? And I'm proud of her. She's married finally. Uh, Nayas, she's married. Pamela, you look at Nayas, don't make the mistake she made. But if you are there as a side chick, don't until there's a plan for the child. Thank you so much for being part of my conversation today. This has been the School of Marriage and Relationship Tuesday. We come your way Tuesdays, Thursdays, and at times on Fridays. I'm yours truly, Counselor George Lutrot. Please, Go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Counselor Lutrot. Subscribe to it. This thing you have learned, share it for people to learn. Let's not take Honorable Kenda Pass issue and make it a political issue. This man, I love him. I've not met Honorable Kenda Pass directly before. But after watching the video, he's not done anything wrong. I'm not a judge, but I want to repeat to Excellency. Don't say anything about this thing that's happened. I beg you. Don't my president. Me Judy. The wife of Honorable Kendapa. Don't talk. I hear some niece or some nephew be Abekasa. Whoever you are, shut up and leave the case for us. And you are some. Honorable Kendapa. 
this should not stop you from helping the young girls. Continue. And all the big men who are helping the young girls for us, I beg you, continue. Because they give you sound mind to lead the nation for us. May God bless you and keep you. Give you long life prosperity. Have more money to help the young girls for us. Young girls, follow my tidbits and become okay. In wrapping up, wives, stop investigating your husbands so that you find a fault to leave the marriage. When your husband is cheating, it is not the yastic for you to find a proof to leave the marriage. If you want to leave, leave. Don't destroy the boat before you leave. Husbands who are watching me, when you have children out of your home, take care of the children. If a man has impregnated you and is refusing to help, call me and let me help. As for that one, I'm very good at it. Every means we use. 0277 609 644. Counselor Lutrot Foundation for Asthma and Diabetes. We are still in focus. Germany, US, UK. We'll go to Spain this year. We're moving around with the club. If you want to give help to us, I'm just about to do three different donations in two different countries, Kofobia, Cape Coast, and I'm doing one in Accra. Help me help those who need our help. Your old clothings that are so tight for you, don't go and bend them with fire. Send them to me. And by calling me, I give you my address, send them to me. We need cash to money runs this, the nation and runs things. So if you want to send us money, through our Zelle account in the United States of America. We have an account there. Our foundation, by the grace of God, is registered in America. Not this uh, 501C to operate in America by the grace of God. And I'm grateful to my board members. Yah of Fund the Chairperson, God bless you. Dr. and Mrs. Gloria Quasin, God bless you. Mr. CNN, God bless you. Ike Donko, God bless you. Nana, God bless you. Mavis. God bless all of you. All of you who have supported the Council Little Foundation, we have just begun the work. God will bless all of you for your help. As for Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Quasin and Yao Fran, I don't know what to tell you, but God is going to bless you. PK, you have a role to play, but you are staying there quietly. Men, chen, men, bing. Tiwenim, na bua dey, na yem bua, omu mu hiyam bua. 8-6- Yes, 862. Yes, I'm giving you the, the Zill account number. 862 This number is a Zill account in the United States of America. Any amount you send there, they'll receive in our account in America. So that we come and help those who are suffering from diabetes, asthma, and cannot help. This morning, since I wake up, people are dying, meaning they may die. It doesn't mean that the government is not doing anything. And no family home. They need help. Let's give them. If you are in Ghana, you want to help me on Vodafone Cash. It's 0507. I don't know if you are there, you can help me type. Vodafone Cash. 0507. Vodafone. 0507. 150. 223 0507 150223 Vodafone Cash. This is Vodafone Cash. Send it and we'll use it to help those who deserve it. Vodafone Cash. This money, Yendi Ayali Fosika. Vodafone Cash 0507 150223. Send us money there for help. Those of you who use MTN everywhere you go, Momo us. This is Momo. Momo is 055 000 5070. Thank you so much, my president. Of the club just give us a zill account to just drop it there 862 Thank you so much. And you can drop all other numbers that we have there. Uh, I think the last one, if I'm not too sure, you can get it there. But ladies and gentlemen, may God bless you wherever you are. I pray protect all side chicks. Wives, relax. Husbands, relax. Don't fight your husband because there's a girl in the picture. 
Don't go and pick your husband's phone and look for that girl. Don't disgrace yourself. Continue marrying your husband. Continue marrying your wife. Those of you who are divorced, those of you who your husbands have left you, can we prove to them another man is in love with us? Look cute. Look beautiful. Look very presentable. Don't lose faith because of them. Let there be a proof that you are still in control. I love you all. God loves you more than me. But for me, as long as I live, I'll be able to tell you what is truth. God bless you, whoever you are. Remember, Counselor Lutrot is on Instagram as Counselor Lutrot. I'm on Facebook and my like page, Counselor Lutrot. Go and follow me so that we get notification every time we start the conversation. Go to YouTube. And by so doing, we will begin to learn and build a school of marriage and relationship. I love you so much. Thanks for your help. Thanks so much for your help. Thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Lutrot. Thank you very much for your support. Uh, you've been very, very helpful and very, very sweet as well as a wife. It's not been easy. Thank you so much, uh, Josephine. So loving and so caring a member of our foundation. Uh, Miss Adelaide Quarty, our senior patron for Cancellator Foundation. Auntie Kwale is how everybody calls you in Yonkers. Very helpful to us. Just this Sunday, we went to Kufudia to do a donation. We donated to a church 10 bags of cement because we went there and we saw the good work they're doing for the community. Even as a church, we donated to them. Auntie Kwale, you might job. Thank you so much for your support. I said thank you so much for helping us. Thank you so much, Nanama Asantoa. You are hope to whatever we are doing. And one day, I will not have a reward for you, but God will do. As I go up, so shall you also go. All those of you who don't understand me, don't change. Keep the fire burning. But this year is your year of light. I love you all. May God bless you. Thank you very much. I'll see you. You can call me and let's talk direct if you have any problem. If there's a man who has impregnated you, has children with you, and is not taking care of the children, call me on 0277-609-644. Remember, my slogan is that don't die in a dying relationship. Kagbo, our Share the page. Share it to other people. Thank you very much. Bodyline clothing for my suit and my shirt. Thank you so much for my cap that came to me. This was a gift from um, Josephine. Thank you. God bless you so much. And thanks for my brooch and everything in my pocket for my wife. She did so well. Yeah, fan. Also, God bless you for being there as a president of the fan of, of Council of Literature Foundation for diabetes and asthma. This year, we're going to start launching and we're going to start our screening program and education in all the schools. So if your school is also there and you want us to go ahead. Yeah, Mrs. Um, Lutrot, whoever is there, can you put on our Momo account on the page? Please, Momo account number. The Momo account number. Please, somebody help me. Zero five zero five five is zero five five I I I I zero five five zero 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 uh yes I know zero five five zero 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 uh five zero seven seven that's that's the right one five zero seven seven yeah zero five five Triple zero five zero seven seven. That's that's the right number. So thank you so much. Anybody there can help me type that particular number. Um zero five five zero 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 five zero seven seven. This is the Momo 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 MTN. Everywhere you go, MTN everywhere you go. Uh, this is our Momo account. MTN everywhere you go. Please uh, help us and let's help other people with the Councilor Lutrot Foundation for Diabetes. And asthma. We are registered, and by the grace of God, we're doing big things for the Lord. Antiquali, welcome to Ghana. Oting, welcome to Ghana. I greet one and only Frank Entry. Charlie Meba, Minuwa Neko. This Valentine, 
I have a surprise for you. Beautiful girls, get ready for me. If you are ugly, you are not part of my meeting this Valentine. I'm meeting beautiful girls. Mm, beautiful girls. <laughs> they can give you hug in the spirit and you can sleep. Hey! A hug. Mm. Charlie, it's been fun. I feel excited. Thank you for being part of my broadcast today. May God bless you wherever you are. The Mumu account has come. Nayamli, thank you so much. This is the Mumu account. Thank you so much, Nayamli. You just came in at the right time and help us do it. May God bless you and keep you. Anytime you come and watch this, learn and share. Thank you so much. 5077. Thank you so much, Yao Fran, our president for Cancellation Foundation. I mean, all the leaders of my foundation are women. The men are few. Dr. Kwesin, thank you for your support. Thank you so much. God bless you.